Folks, it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Welcome aboard oh, to Jesus. Murder Hobo Week. <laughs> I'm just doing that in my head, and you come out and start doing it. But we're, psych we're psychically linked. I know. It's, it's so, kind of that's scary it's, shit it, right there. It's in it's your head, <laughs> uh, Folks, this is Murder Hobo, oh. Inc., the tri-generational game, uh, the Margu campaign. Welcome aboard. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want to see on the talk show on Tuesdays or a one-shot on Saturdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up, let us know, we'll get you on the game. Uh, like I said, this is the tri-generational group. Uh, and let me just introduce a big shout out to uh, Pirate Dog Dice for making dice that <laughs> really wreaked havoc last night. Uh, and of course, oddfishgames.com. No. If the game stinks, get a little adventure sense in there and uh, enjoy. Also, don't forget, if you want to learn how to write, try out their shine system. Uh, I had the pleasure of also doing an RPG with their cat uh, today, which was kind of cool. Kickstarter coming soon. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the cast. Uh, as always in Margu, we will start with the patriarch, uh, Frank Sr. I am Leaf, the well-endowed with Murder Hobo Inc. Dice, Druid. <laughs> It'll be a while before I can use all 12 of those, you know, for, for damage, but oh, it's nice having them in my bag. Wow, I should have looked at the name tag. Uh, next up is Jason. <laughs> Jason, who are you? Who are you playing? I can't even carry a candle next to that flame. Um, I'm uh, Copious Volbitters, the third gnomish witch admiral of the uh, ship and apparently about to go down in flames um, as we all march to our doom. Well said. I, I think that is an accurate uh, follow-up to what happened. He is dressed to the nines as he does it. He'll look good as he goes down. You look like you're a beetle. Uh, no, I mean, you, you got the classy threads. Uh, too bad fifth, you guys are... Fifth beetle. Fifth beetle. He was, he was actually known that back in his homeland. Well, nice. wait a minute. The yes. fifth beetle would that means you'd be playing a keyboard, I believe. He's correct, or the triangle, one or the other, or cowbell. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, yeah that's uh. Yeah. Uh, next up is uh, AJ, who appears to be well groomed today. God, I got them all cut. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I noticed, AJ, and I I'm noticed. playing. <laughs> I did the man fang cut almost, you know, from a few months ago. I'll be playing uh, Felix, the last sexy party member, and I am here and I am ready to get some. I, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if that's accurate, if Leaf's uh, tagline is accurate. I know. I might. <laughs> well, you know, being well endowed with dice versus being a very sexy party member, the two are kind of, they're yeah. similar, but different. But. <laughs> Do you have any of these? I do not, no. <laughs> You're hoarding them, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Man. For all party members. Why would, he, why would they send me 12 dice? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'll keep them all. You see this? This makes me better than you. <laughs> and last but not least, our youngest uh, member, mm -hmm. uh, Little Frank. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Manfang, the diplomatic... <sighs> What is me? What am I? Who am I? Genius. 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 There we go. What do they say? Like genius. Kid something. I'm like, uh, what's his name? What's his name? That detective guy. What's his name? Super Sherlock genius. Holmes. Oh, Cruz. No, not him. <laughs> OJ something. What's his name? Is he a detective? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Hercule Poirot. Yeah, whatever his name is. A detective. Think of that. That's what I am. <laughs> Yeah, OJ <laughs> was a detective in three movies. That's about it. Exactly. Uh, this this is the hand I've been dealt with, folks. This is what I've got to work with. So uh, <laughs> help me help you entertain you. Uh, folks, these guys are the Margu campaign. They're currently in the halfling domain of Dre Glary in the small, uh, small village of Lightreach. Uh, they have bottomed out slash moored their ship in the cove made friends with the halflings before 
some murderous rampage occurred. It's kind of a, you got to go back and watch the uh, old shows in the archive uh, to get a full grasp of the situation. But currently, no one's getting killed at this moment. Uh, <laughs> and they are all noticing that the celebration of Lear, the local sea deity, is uh, in full swing. Now, Felix, I believe Leaf or Copious, noticed that the guards of the town were collecting tribute. And that tribute is slated to be tossed off the cliff, the high cliff, uh, at noon today to appease the god. Uh, now, Felix himself, being a rogue, has already pilfered some of the uh, tribute. Hopefully that doesn't make a difference or make the sea god angry, but we shall see. Uh, but uh, they, they've run into a little bit of trouble. They've gotten their hands on a couple of strange magic items that they don't fully understand. Uh, and when last we joined them, they were headed up the stairs following the long trail of villagers to go up and honor uh, Lear. So we begin today... Uh, you guys are watching the procession up the stairs past the bordello uh, of Felix's fame, uh, going behind it along the ridge line and out to the cliffs uh, that you pass through before beaching your boat. What would you like to do, gentlemen? I think I need to point out that Felix is no longer in possession of the gold that he pilfered from the tributes. He spent it all at the pink house. Yes, yeah. I can't believe you paid to have somebody more. do that to you when we got, you know, some ragamuffins on the ship that would do it for nothing. Robert would have done it and paid you. <laughs> yeah, Robert. what the hell? We weren't on the ship, were we? I'm pretty sure Ted would, too. And Phineas, there's no doubt in my mind. Oh, I'm sure Phineas would. Phine Phineas and Pierre definitely would. I mean, have. he is uh, a gnome, yes. after all. Well, you know, now that Pandora's box has been opened within Felix, maybe he'll be paying them on the journey back to uh There you go. I'm, I'm thinking right now what we probably should have done was park our ship under the cliff where they're going to throw the gold. <laughs> we could catch it. Yeah, not obvious at all. What are you going to show boobs? This is No, I just Orleans, cast or? I can cast I can cast a fog spell and just let them dump it down into the fog. <laughs> yeah. They won't wait or anything. You know, Fog judging players. from your roles, I'm guessing one of you might have been killed by gold. Yeah, as long as it wasn't me, I don't care. Uh, the procession is getting ahead of you guys, and it is a solemn procession. Uh, a lot of low chanting, low praying, da 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 oh, Lear, oh, Lear, whatever. Uh, so the town is locked up and vacant for the most part, as far as you know. Do we see any red vests in the crowd that's making its way up to the, the top of the cliff? They are uh, scattered throughout, including uh, your recent friend, the pawn shop guy, Spats McGee. So I'm looking at Felix. Are, are we following the crowd up to see where they, the drop-off point is? Or are we going to um, go back to town? I, I'm, there's part of me that really thinks this would be an opportune time to take care of Spatz's hovel. It would be a very opportune time. Where is the firebug when we need him, Robert? I know. He's back on the ship. Back on the chili ship. for everybody. Apologetic chili. If, we want to take, if you want to go back and take care of his hovel. I don't think I can let those tributes out of my sight. Let Felix go follow the tributes and we'll go back and take care of the hobble. Well, Leaf, you found the, the there was a tunnel and I'm curious whether the tunnel you found where they were keeping you connects under uh, to that. Uh, it, that's kind of, it might very well. There's tunnels all over underneath there from what I could see. Everybody perception check. Uh, 22. 17. 21. Bring it home, man, Fang. Natural 20. Come on. Two. That is a dirty 20. Very nice. Uh, all of you all notice right. that Light Reach is kind of in a, uh, uh, a depression, a bowl, if you will, with the cliffs surrounding it on both sides. You notice that anybody on top of the cliffs 
could theoretically see down into town. So you will have to be serendipitous about your hovel approach. Could we, could we moonwalk there? Sure. I would and like to do that. He's going yeah, to and then they'll, just think, they'll think we're walking the other way. Exactly. <laughs> they'll think uh, we're magicians. Burn dex the witch. Dexterity check, man, Fang. Uh, I'm no master of dexterity, but I'll try. Trips over his own feet and falls down. Yep. That's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Ooh, what's my plus on dexterity? It's plus one, so that's 19. You successfully moonwalk backwards, uh, but not in a Michael Jackson like way, more of a Michael J. Fox kind of way. Oh, shaking <laughs> the whole time, buddy. <laughs> wow, too soon, too soon. <laughs> Don't offend our Canadian neighbors already. Uh, sorry, yeah. Wait, wait until they stop listening. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, so... Felix, you're not you're not going. You don't you want to continue to follow the crowd. I assume even as we're debating this, we can still see the crowd winding its way up to the clifftop. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just toss out out loud where everybody can hear. Uh, Felix, we're going to head on back to the ship and make sure everything's OK. I will say, OK, I'll be sure to get up there and add your tributes to the uh, wagon or whatever it is. Oh, thank wow. you. I forget I what it much is. much better. And I will take the Lame. <laughs> I'll be sure to get up there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make you roll twice, Felix. One for performance for this clearly, clearly rushed judgment. And the other is a D12 against me. Which do you want to roll first? <laughs> well, might, you said performance? Yep. Let's do it. 17. Uh, as corny as it sounded to us, uh, the halflings seemed to take no note as they continued on with their procession up the cliff. Now, D12 against me. One. Eleven. Uh, you see two people near the back of the procession whom are intimately familiar with you. Oh. Do, uh, do they recognize me from my indiscretions at the pink house? Well, turn around and bend over and we'll let you know. <laughs> They're trying I'm to visualize you without the ball gag. <laughs> yes, I think they've identified you. Ah, yes, yes. Is it the ladies that I was there with? It would be the ladies that you were ah, there with. Ah, well. I Hello, to ladies. To Am I close enough to talk to them? Maybe I'll wave to them. They're waving you up. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're letting you oh, cut in line. Oh, perfect, Whoa. yes. Give me a perception check. Natural one. <laughs> Your eyesight is uh, not looking where it should be. So uh, you may communicate with the two lovelies. I will say... I I'm not sure what I'll say. I think I'll just be dazzled by seeing them again and Hola, por favor. fond memories of the night before <laughs> clouding my judgment. They uh, ask you if you were able to uh, sit down today, pick up any more uh, herbs. <laughs> I have not yet. I was actually on my way there when I found that everything in town is closed. So I am waiting until I have the opportunity to get back there. But first, I have to go drop off my tribute. Oh, I see. That's fine. I hope uh, I hope that works out well for you. <laughs> oh, yes. They, they, have, they seem to have they seem to have no interest at the current moment until you uh, get your horny goat weed or uh, yeah. lion testicle juice or whatever the hell you picked up at the. Uh, apothecary uh the other three on the stairs uh as man fang moonwalks his way down to level two uh are you guys headed to the pawn shop directly or are you going to try and go through leaf's tunnel system 
Uh, and is the crowd still, are we now beyond the crowd? The crowd's all moved past us. They're the crowd is already on top of the cliff. So they have surpassed level two and three. They are on the cliff headed clockwise around. And we can see them from here, right? We can. Oh, yeah. Them. It's uh, high noon, baby. Everybody can see everything. So I'm going to look at Leaf and say, do we do we try this or, or do you want to uh, go up to the tunnel. cliff? Huh? We could try the tunnel. I'm going to say you you can uh, transform if you need to, right? You can yeah. transform and transform into something nondescript that the crowd wouldn't notice. One more time. So that may be a way. I'm going to disappear. I'm, I'm going to tell them I'm going to start moving uh, into shadow if I can, try to stealth my way down there. I know it's right out this vantage what have you but see if i can't move uh sneakily back down levels and make my way to the pawn shop sure uh it is on level two uh as you're going down it's going to be to your right uh the moonwalking man fang man fang give me an intelligence check oh geez oh i want to roll bad that is a three because it was a six, but I've been... uh, the music in Man Fang's head continues to allow him to moonwalk, and he is moonwalking his way down to level one. Uh, copious, there, there, there's nobody around, and he's like Kevin Bacon with headphones in, just rocking out to his own tune. I am having a great time. That's pretty bad. It's pretty great. I'm definitely moving away from, from Man Fang as quickly as I can. Sure. I want to move away from this. This, this awesome. whole thing of dexterity, I'm guessing. Yep. I just the, the Kevin Bacon footloose reference is, has me really tar torn up right now. I'm I'm just picturing it. Well, you're looking kind of stylish in the uh band leader outfit. Ricky. Yeah, <laughs> procession as it goes. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, go ahead. I was going to say, so I will move down till and try to go to the backside of the the pawn shop if I can. It is very it, narrow because it's built into the side of a cliff, but there is a slight alleyway. D twelve against me to see if there's any egress. Three, one. Uh, there is a small window there. All right, I'm going to try to uh, open it if I can or pick it if, if possible. Uh, Leaf, are you with him or are you following the movie? I've got to follow him in the form of a cat. Okay. What color? Black. Oh, boy. Everything's a disadvantage for you, Copious. <laughs> uh, what did you want to do? Open it or pick it? Uh, pick it if it's, uh, it has a lock on it. It is unlocked. You can clearly see the latch is off, wide open. Ugh. That, can I try to detect, see if there's a trap on the window? Sure. Give me a check on that uh, investigation. Four, uh, 15. This place is run by a thief. Yeah, there's a trap. <laughs> can I try to disarm it? Sure. Performance or sleight of hand, your choice. Oh, that's uh, decisions, decisions. Sleight of hand is going to be that one. Oh, 13. Mm. You're pretty sure you've disarmed it. Okay, I'm going to hold the window uh -huh. open and, and let Leaf go in. I said, Leaf, go on in. Okay. You can't say that, you're a cat. I know. It's not man thing. I'm Leaf. All you saw was me jump up on the trap and open the window for you. I'm going to jump up on the window sill and take a look around. You see a slight slender wire running the length of the window sill going into the wall up, and you're going to have to lean in to see where it goes from there. <sighs> uh, Marie Antoinette, this sucker. Come on, stick your head through that. I'm going to take one of my little cat claws, hook the wire and drop back out the window. Sure. A nice scythe goes by, comes back a little slower, comes forward a little slower, a few more cycles and it rests. Now I'm gonna look at, at Copius and, and give him the paw. 
Job well done, number one. Got it. Yeah. You're uh, number man, one. Go on in. Man Fang intelligence check. Ready. Go, oh, man Fang. Out of, the out of the building. Hit it big. God. It's an 11. Uh, it? Give me another die, even or odd or even. All right. I'll roll die. I guess I dropped that die six. I'm rolling a die 12. That's a three. Uh, odd. Uh, you stop short of falling into the water, and you continue <laughs> to moonwalk down the left side. So you are running parallel now to where they went to. Uh, All right, let's keep going. I'm going to keep going until I bump into something. Sure. Up top, Felix. Uh, oh, the the <laughs> ladies turn <laughs> around and say, uh, that, do you have an appointment with the apothecary? Have you confirmed that she has the uh, items that you need? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll be going there right after this. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, 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 she oh. is expecting me. Uh, what, are, what are you giving to uh, the tribute? Uh, me and my friends, we just uh, we figured we would want to tribute. What is it? Lyra? Lyra? Lear. Lear. We wanted to pay respects and tribute Lear for the bountiful harvest or whatever everyone's excited about. That sounds almost convincing. I am giving him this merman dagger. You don't say. I do say. Well, I would hate for you to have to make the trip all the way up there. Perhaps I can take it for you. I, I'm going up myself right now anyway. Oh, we've seen you go up. We'll go ahead and take it ourselves. <laughs> all right. Uh, you notice that... Uh, Every member of the town is here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you can continue uh, with small chit chat. Clearly, they are interested in another rendezvous uh, once you obtain the necessary implementations that uh, allowed your performance to be so high last time. Uh, I, will, I will assure them that makes three of us. <laughs> You know I'm going to kill you. It's just going to be an outright murder in the bordello. Uh, they uh, they ask you what you know about Lear. I know very little. I am a traveling adventurer. But I figured I would pay respects as an out-of-towner. Your town has been so uh, kind to us. They point out that he looks a lot like uh, a former member of the community named Sean Connery, uh, and he is a very potent individual. It's rumored that it was he that grew the crops that you consumed for your uh, performance enhancing medicine. He and his friend, Frank Thomas. Nobody gets that joke? Nope. God, that ad is on TV constantly. And she'll like it too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the youngest one in the group got it. I remember because it's, it's just in the gym when all these like, he's like in the gym with like the three women or something. I always yeah. like Frank Thomas, but he has fallen mighty low. Yes, he has, but he's still making cash. Yeah, uh, he is. Okay, meanwhile, uh, after the cat gave you the bird... Mm -hmm. uh copious what do you want to do <laughs> well i is the i'm gonna hold the window open and nudge the cat in hop in there are you going to let him know or are you going to give him a helping nudge <laughs> well if he's still on the window ledge i'll help give him a helping nudge we, you know, he's a cat. Uh, give me help i'm not on the window ledge i pulled the wire and dropped off the window ledge to release whatever it was holding. Why shouldn't you jump back up as soon as i open the window i'll jump back up and spray him as i go through the window so you are a male cat. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, he was a male cat. Fair enough. Uh, go ahead and give me a two hit with your dexterity as a modifier. <laughs> well, that's a uh, 17. That's 20. <laughs> My eyes burn. Uh, you spray, but the uh, very quick copious manages to dodge. The Did I get any on his coat? I just or... want to get some on that coat. <laughs> Uh, hey, listen. I'm in the bad 20. The coat's in, the, in my backpack anyways. That's for formal occasions. That's for state dinners on board ship. <laughs> There's a lot of those. <laughs> Damn it. Felix, see what you're missing? Uh, Man Fang, you've reached the end of the pier and 
strike volcanic rock. Fortunately, you aren't really sure where you're at. Go ahead and give me a survival check. All right. Now, he was with you at the pawn shop, right? Yeah. Was he? At 17. Yeah, I was at the pawn shop, just like Moon walked all the way down the stairs and then out the building. Right on past us. Okay. Uh, Yeah, you know where they went. Uh, You are one level down and slightly over. All right, then I'll moonwalk back. Okay. Uh, I'll give you advantage going up the stairs with your moonwalking. Well, my first roll was a 19, so I don't think I need much else. Nope, you're good. Uh, You slide on up to the second level. Okay, copious leaf. Who wants to have the guts? Oh, I'm in the shop, so. I Yeah, copious will climb through the window, window once the cat's in there. Uh, as the cat goes in, you turn back around and you notice the wall below the window has seen some relatively recent blood stains. Uh, <laughs> as though somebody was not as uh, perceptive Careful. as you, yeah. You are inside the back of the shop. Uh, it's a uh, kind of like a an office area. Copious, uh, you are not a cat, so give me a dexterity check. Ten. Uh, you almost knock over the Hummel statues <laughs> right there, uh, <laughs> but do not. Uh, this is, again, some kind of an office space. Uh, there are papers. Uh, there are some unidentified trinkets there, uh, small in nature, uh, as well as a picture of um, Spats and his lovely uh, wife. <laughs> She's kind of ghastly in a serious, vomitous fashion. Uh, she's a very handsome woman, one might say. Uh, but other than that, there's a small door leading into what you perceive to be the main showroom. There's also a small chest. Hmm. I'm going to convert back to me and cast Detect Magic. There is a sheaf of papers that is blue in your eyes. I want to look around and see if there's any hidden uh, compartments anywhere in the, the room, particularly trapdoors. I'm going to gather up the glowing blue papers. And there are those. two. Uh, one is a protection from elementals. Uh, water uh, elementals. Uh, the other is a... Uh, Fourth level spell, odd magic user, or odd mage, even cleric. Eight, even. Uh, Fourth level cleric spell, random one. Uh, Those are those. I will take uh, investigation check, Copious. Mike, what are you doing? Eleven. You find a pocket door that looks just like the wall. Hmm. All right, I will do another quick search for traps to see if there's any anything uh, obvious. Sure. Roll on that again. Yep. Is that investigation? Yep. Uh, 15. Disarm is a sleight of hand. Uh, no traps. Okay, I'm going to see if I can push it aside and open it. Uh, it looks like a bedroom. Huh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Um, Take a quick look in. Does it look like an actual bedroom or like, oh, this is where I keep my love slave kind of bedroom? It is actual bedroom. The clothing hanging along the wall is uh, probably for his wife. <laughs> uh, it is garish colors and very large. I'm going to talk to to Leaf and and again, I'm I'm looking mainly at this point for evidence of an association with the red vest thing. <laughs> Sure. Um, I'm at this point. We're not seeing anything that draws a direct connection. Correct. There's a lot of papers on the desk. I want to search through those and see if there's anything that would stand out. But copious, uh, I don't know that he would be able to tell much unless it was really blatant. 
Uh, I, I'm going to say, it, it, copious, it, if anything, because of the tunnels, there's got to be a trap door here somewhere. Well, that's what I've been looking for, but we haven't found one in, in this room. So that means we're left searching the rest of the building, but we have yeah. to get a move on. Okay, it, let's it, do it. <clears throat> my whole point here is the guy stole from us, so I'm going to burn this place down. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> oh, I think so. That I, was, think the, I think the guy bought stolen shit of yours, and you're going to burn his house down. He's yeah, <laughs> just as so, guilty as the ones that took it. Yeah, sure. co copious. I think we have a well established trend that copious tends to overreact to people that cross him. <laughs> so, yeah, because, you know, at, at least you guys weren't told not to go to the ruins and rip off shit, but you did that anyway. <laughs> if you guys I had would, permanent homes, they'd be burnt down. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. But uh, we yes. don't have, and that's the point. Uh, his ledger is on the desk, uh, filled with a variety of names, notations of what they brought in, da 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 You find two notations that are uh, that catch your eye, uh, and they pertain to your missing maps. Uh -huh. uh, I want to take note of the, those names, if I can. It is Peta and Sigor. And does is there a dollar figure associated with that? Like it's were, a very low figure. And uh, based on what we're seeing, is is are those people he bought my maps from, or people he sold my maps to? Can give me I an from ledger. Give me an insight check. Uh, I had natural eighteen before I had bonus. Yeah, you uh, you assume that he purchased the items from them. If you flip over to more recent ledger notes you will find, uh, you know what, D12 against me. Eight. Six. Uh, Good-looking young halfling purchase. Cope, so, okay. cope something. <laughs> okay, sorry. Right, good, sorry good. that he beat me on the die roll. I, I was going to make him, you know, horrifically twerk yeah, or something yeah. like that. Twisted but, little man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, appear, it appears as though you were in the ledger as purchased the maps back. That purchased maps. Period. He maps. he he's not he yeah. he is not saying that you were a previous owner or anything. He's just saying that. So we've established at least that uh, it appears that these two individuals, uh, Peter or Peta and Sigor, were the ones who sold the maps to him. We don't know who those two are. And I assume we see their name uh, several times in the ledgers. These As two? you flip back, yes, they are frequent visitors. Okay. So I, I think we may, I'm going to tell Leaf and show him what I've said and say, I think we're establishing who this may be. I would like yeah. to find, um, you know, if, if we can't find more evidence in, that's incriminating the guy, besides the fact he wears a red vest, just like the ones who stole our crap. But my um, question, my, my concern with this whole thing is, even if we find more evidence, it, I, it could very easily be the whole town knows that he does and, and lets him do it. And they're not going to hear if we say anything about it anyway. Yeah. I think that's the mayor a, may be getting a big cut of this shit. Which is why. Uh, Burn would, it down. Uh, Burn it all down. I would like more evidence uh, and find Pete and Sigor. Uh, Robert, do. we can move. We'll move into another room and what and, would Robert and, and do? Investigate. I yeah, wear we, that know, we know what Robert would do. Yeah, Let's Robert wouldn't even have made it inside. He would. We'll just continue on our investigation, looking for a, a trap door. Sure, you go out into the main area, Man Fang. Give me another intelligence check. <laughs> Uh, you moonwalk your way over towards the pawn shop, and you're pretty sure this is where they're going. Uh, the door seems to be locked. You don't see any movement. So since you got a one, guys, I'm out front. <laughs> you start beating on the door. Uh, Felix, give me a perception check. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. Could you let me in? I locked myself oh. out. 24. Uh, you catch sight of 
this mess uh, in its faint, it's very faint up on the cliff, but you are concerned that it's going to carry. About this time, you notice the lead shaman, priest, abbot, whatever, is beginning his recitation of the accolades of Lear and sees you and says, would the newest convert like to come and offer his tribute first? First? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, is, we're privileged, but I must. When I look at it, is there other? Are there other tributes already in there? Or is it like totally clean slate? It's they have the the treasure wagon heaped over, and they are on this flat surface, uh, a little bit bigger than a pitcher's mound. But remember, they're halflings, uh, and it overlooks the exterior exterior of the sea. So not where the kids were jumping off into the cove, but on the outside as you begin your precarious uh, movement, you notice out there, there's a discoloration of the water. It's the blue eye of uh, uh, South American country, Belize. There's a dark blue eye surrounded by the normal sea. And that eye is almost right up against the cliffs and it is perpendicular to where the wagon is. Give me an insight check. Well, uh, you perceive that they are just going to either hand toss the loot or roll the wagon off in. Sounds great. I will. What I'm going to do is try to look around for any Lear. kind of. Lear. Lear, Lear, <laughs> Anything Lear, that I see Lear. that'll stand out like geographically so that when we're down at the bottom on the sea trying to come back, I might be able to figure out where we're at. Sure. Give I don't me believe a... that the big dark blue eye is going to be visible from down below. So I'm going to look for something like a cave or a very distinct tree, some sort of unique feature that I will be able to identify from below while I walk up to pay tribute. That, that is a very reasonable request. Go ahead and do an investigation check. Uh, dirty 20. There appears to be a small plateau uh, and you aren't certain uh, because you're just a human. Uh, down below about 300, 320. Uh, it, it might have a smattering of coins on it may or may not be green, like old copper pennies, uh, but there's just a small plateau there and it has uh, a little bit of moss on it. Uh, from this angle and this height, uh, that's pretty much the only geographical feature that you're gonna notice, but you feel confident uh, that you'll be able to find it. Perfect, that's exactly Lear. what I'm looking for. Lear. 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 Lear, I will walk Lear. up and get as close to I as I can. The the shaman, uh, tribal leader, abbot, priest. May I see your tribute, son? Certainly. <laughs> what are you going to show him? I have the empty bag that I had before. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's still empty. So I need to... Damn it. I don't have any rocks or anything in my pocket. So I'm going to put a couple of coins in there like an idiot. I know, I know. And I'm going to say, here's my tribute. So you can shake it so we can hear the coins in there. Now, may I go place my tribute over there? Persuade him that you are giving the offering so desired. Oh, shit. Oh, 21. Yes. All right, tis a good tribute. Hands it back to you, my son. Off it. Off it? Like throw it in? Mm -hmm. It's not what I wanted to do. Lear, Lear. Okay. Lear. And 
I'm going to do it and fake that I'm like slipping on something. And as I release the bag, try to steady myself and fall on the other ones and grab just one bag if I can in my off hand as I pretend to steady myself. You know, there's a lot of people watching. Yes, right? yes, yes, I know. Hey, the hey, Lee, we're going to have to set fire to the shop to get Felix out of trouble. You're never coming back to this place anyway, unfortunately. Not so I might as well grab it all. Okay. Sorry, scoop, give, scoop. Give me a performance check for your foible and a sleight of hand for your snatching. I was not expecting a performance, only a sleight of hand. All right, so the performance. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, 13 on the performance. And 21 on the sleight of hand. Performance is a four. So that goes off without a hitch. Uh, about the only thing I can do is a nat 20. Uh, and it's an 18. So uh, you give the heave-ho, you do the superhero landing, you steady yourself on the wagon, plopping a bag down your sleeve, standing up. Lear! Uh, yeah. the, cr the crowd continues to chant. Lear! Um, Lear! Lear! And I'm going to Boy, my son, why don't you help? And you being a strong brute, why don't you push the whole thing off? But be careful. It is slick up here. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I will absolutely help and push it all off. Lear. Just me Lear. or is Lear. everyone else? Is anyone else going to give a hand? Oh, no. it's uh, This was hauled by four halflings. They have full faith that you a massive human uh with a serious libido issue should have no problem pushing this absolutely let me let me just steady myself i'm gonna put that bag out of my sleeve into my pants pocket pull my okay. pants up straight up d20 make sure it's not a one a four <laughs> <laughs> it gets Hung up on your knee, so you kind of bend your knee so that it won't fall any further. You know, there for a minute, we almost had a cliff diver in the group. Uh, it ain't over yet. It's not over yet. <laughs> oh, go, ahead give, opportunity. go ahead and give me a strength check. <laughs> 13? It's pretty heavy, uh, and it takes you uh, a couple of pushes to get the inertia rolling, uh, but you are headed directly for the edge, uh, and you surmise using algebraic equations through Euclidean geometry that if you release it, it will go up and over the side, down the curvature, and into the eye dead center. Don't roll a one on this Straight up D20. Oh, nine. Uh, you, you slip a little bit, but you send the treasure wagon cascading jewels, coins, and jewelry over a tear dwindles from your eye as you watch all of that loot go. The crowd erupts. Leer, 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 leer. A beam of light comes out of the clouds and shines upon the shaman, priest, acolyte, whatever. Uh, and he declares, Lear is happy. Uh, meanwhile, back in the pawn shop, uh, you two give me uh, one set of investigation checks for right now. Am I still banging on the door? Yes. Cool. So... <clears throat> Leaf, are you doing the investigation check? Both of you have to. Oh, both of us. Sorry, 19. Nine. Uh, I'll go ahead and let Num Nuts in to quiet him down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> because of that, he does not find the trap door. I will take one more investigation check for both of you now that Man Fang is inside looking around. Natural 19. 21, natural 19. Both of you stumble upon. Uh, 
uh, ye old trap door underneath ye old rug. Uh, there is a circular winding set of wooden stairs that have seen better days. It seems to go down into the depths, possibly down to level one. I'm going to ask Leaf if this is familiar to him. <clears throat> no, it's not. All right. But I didn't get that far in a tunnel. I'm going to cast so, uh, summon my pack weapon and cast shadow armor and then go down the stairs. Did you by any chance pick up that chest that we found in the office? No. I'm going to go back. I'm gonna ask really? <laughs> what are you doing, Man Fang? Man Fang, come, come down the stairs with me. I guess I'll walk in the room, look at the both of them, and then turn around and moonwalk downstairs. He's I going down forward. first if I see him moonwalking. I, I, I was going to ask. Okay. Give me marching, the order, marching order is Man Fang first if he's moonwalking. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they won't hit my face, so my beautiful face. Now, That's if you were point. wearing that turtle shell, it'd be the time to be doing that moonwalk. Yeah, but I got a good, strong spinal column. All righty. What, what do I have to roll? Dex. All right. Um, let's say that's a 14. How's that? Uh, you're slipping, but you're doing okay. <sighs> uh, you notice uh, the deeper you go, about every 20 or so feet, uh, there's an oil lamp. You mean moon steps? Yes. Thank you. It looks like it's uh, centrally located. So as you wind down, there'll be one here. You'll wind all the way down and get to here. There'll be another one down below. I guess I'll grab one. Okay. You got to light it? Oh, they're not lit? Mm. All right. I'll, just, I'll see if I have anything to light. I'm going to wait. Man Fang, can you see in the dark? Uh, I don't think I can. No, I'm pretty sure I can't. Dragonborn can't. Okay. I can Seems check like this. a racial problem. Uh -huh. You'd think a Dragonborn can see. At least... Uh, calm down. Them. I'm looking. <laughs> oh, in that case, uh, let me roll some dice. Uh, you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you spill the oil on yourself right as you go to light it. That's his, uh, that's his uh, performance check here in a second. No. Dragonborn do not have dark vision? I will I check. a racial trait because I that's am a weird. black dragon. And I spit acid. So that's really all I got. Uh, I'm telling, I can vomit and it's acidic. Yeah, I don't say anything about it. No, it says, should Dragonborn have dark vision? Why don't uh, Dragonborns no. have dark vision? So yeah. he is correct. He does not have dark vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is a, that's a problem right there. Yeah, this is, a big, this is a big not good right there. So do you want to try and light it? I don't think I have anything to light it with. This is the thing. We'll probably have like a match. Or not, not a match. But like probably a, have a flint tender. Yeah, I'll try it. Entering gear. See how well I do this. Performance check. This is not going to end well. At least I can honestly say um, we fired to the shop. I got ten. Uh, after a couple of strikes, you do manage to light the wick in the oil lamp, uh, spreading a soft orangey glow around the tunnel. You can see the edge of Copious Feed Bitters looking down, wondering if this is where he dies. Uh, at this moment, this is not where he dies. Up on the ledge, uh, Felix, uh, a round of back slapping only lower because they're halflings, uh, give you the accolades for a job I, well done. That would be crack slapping. Crack slapping. I was thinking yeah. it looks like a bunch of uh, halflings with a speed bag is what I was picturing. Yeah. But that would be if they were in front. <laughs> uh, you notice that the tail end of the procession is weaving its way back to into town and you look over but you do not see any smoke coming from the business. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I'm going to 
say, gentlemen and ladies, perhaps we need one more round of a song. Join everybody, join me in a song to congratulate Lear on such a fine day. Is it the copious fee bidders uh, anthem? It's gonna be the copious fee bidders anthem. Yes. Uh, with a natural one. Aye, we shall honor Lear. Lead us in the song. Uh, sing, boy. Righty. I don't remember how the song goes. But here comes the king. Here cookies. comes the big number one. No, 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 no. It's the Budweiser song. But where it says copious, I'm going to change the word to Lear. It doesn't quite rhyme, but. No, it does not. The king. Here comes <laughs> it just ruined one. the whole song. Uh, well, it depends on if you guys would come on, set that shit on fire. You need Robert there. Uh, there you receive questionable looks as they try and mumble along. Uh, you're gonna need to go several verses so Perfect. that they can catch up. Um, <laughs> some people think you're full of crap, those are the observant ones, others are like, eh, Okay, uh, he's an outlander. Uh, so you will lead them. Give me a d6. Uh, one, two is one round, three, four is two, five, six is three rounds. Or, you know what? Minutes. Minutes. Oh, I'm going to give him three minutes of it. I rolled a six. Uh, yeah, we'll give him three minutes. So, uh, back in the pawn shop, Copious, you see that Man Fang has successfully lit the oil lamp, allowing its warmth uh, to cascade everywhere. This hole that you were in seems to be carved directly out of the coral rock. The wooden planks used as steps are questionable at best. And for some reason, Leaf is not behind you anymore. Um, I'm going to let Manfang move far enough that I, I start to get some shadow back to hide in. Uh, sure. <laughs> this thing, I, I don't really want to be silhouetted in the middle of a flame going into a dark tunnel. Sure. Um, and, and you're using Manfang as bait. That too. So I'm going to softly impress. Do we get to the, at the, we're at the bottom of the ladder or the stairs, right? Yeah, you will get there. Uh, Man Fang, you will have a head full of spider webs because you are clearly taller than halflings and the spiders don't care. So uh, they, are, they are non toxic, they are non aggressive spiders. It's just standard spiders. Uh, give me a, Survival check. This is scary. Not anymore. I rolled a natural 19. You're pretty sure you've gone about 50, possibly 60 feet down, which should put you either eye level with level one or slightly below that. Uh, at the bottom of the stairs, there is a rough hewn opening fit for a halfling. Uh, so you're not going to fit very well. Up top, hey, up top <laughs> Leaf, you have found the uh, box. Yes, I'm going to open it. It is locked. I have a key. You do? I have a magic key. Whoa. Which one is that? The one I found in that uh, uh, in place in a temple. Was it? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. okay, yes. It's yeah, I gave the cacophony guys magic keys. I couldn't remember you guys. Yes, you have a magic key. Uh, yeah. You tap the lock with it, insert the rod, and boom, it opens up. Uh, it's a rather considerable cache of coins in small bags. If uh, Felix were here, he would recognize those bags as the bags used to give tributes. Uh, some of them are damp. And mm. musty. Damp and musty. Mm. Imagine that. Mm. Like pink out. I'll give you 190 gold pieces and 120 silver pieces. Uh, in, not individually wrapped, but sectioned off into different pouches. Mm -hmm. I'll give you... 11 pouches. So you divide all that into the 11 pouches. The okay. top ones are the musty, damp ones. 
Well, we'll have to gather up some gold, I believe. We'll gather it up. Uh, you're going to hold the box or are you going to take all the bags? Is there a, I'm going to look around and see if there's a, a pouch I can put this stuff in. Backpack, D12. satchel. Yeah, D12 against me. 12. Four. Yeah, there's a bag, D12 against me. 12. Uh, and it will hold all of them. Wow. Yeah, I rolled double fours. Eh, I rolled double twelves. Dice give it, dice take it away. Well, I put some lead. Oh, you don't want to hear that. Some lead in the... Yeah, anyways. So, uh... <laughs> it, it's one of those old lady carpet bags with the wooden handle. I, you know, I had that picture in my... We're kind of in tune today. I'm going to fill that up with the bags and head back in the other room where the uh, trap door is at and copious. Copious, look what I found. Copious is not there. Oh, did he leave? He's okay. gone. I'm down the trap door. I'm heading down the trap door. I'm going to shut it behind me. I closed the chest before I left. It is dark. I can see in the dark. What are you again? I'm an elf. Oh, Half elf. Right. Uh, the wife asked. I thought you were human. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so you can see in the dark. Uh, as you say goodbye to the pawn shop, uh, you close the trap door. Uh, keeping in mind that the rug. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Uh, you. Oh, oh wait, you, I forgot something. Hey, Copious, can you hear me? Copious? It's an echoing, but he can hear you. Weren't we going to set fire to this damn place? You know, uh, I, I'm still on the stairs, right? Man Fang's at the bottom, I'm on the stairs. Yep, you're about halfway down. You'll gonna, notice that the yelling is, you can hear that. <laughs> uh, Man Fang might even be able to hear that. Dogs might be able to hear I'm that. Gonna, I'm going to shush uh, Leaf on my way back up, and I'm going to point out there's oil in this lamp here on this stairway. If you want to chuck it up. Copious is Clarice walking through the killer's basement right now. <laughs> Copious could see in the dark too, so oh, it's okay. only, only man thing. Yeah. yeah. So I'll go ahead and light one of the lamps, lift the trap door, and give the lamp a nice toss across the room. Uh, give me a performance roll. Is there more than one lamp besides the one? Uh, you know, if I roll oh, one, I'm going to drop this on somebody. <laughs> he's got the other one. Okay. Uh, not much for performance. There was Not, clothing in the pond. Nine. Uh, nine, you rolled up against something that is flammable. Not immediately so. And you notice that the glass is broken in the oil lamp. Flames are starting to lick at it. You're like, okay. yeah, that'll work. I'll shut the door and say, let's get the hell out of here. Well, I, am, did he do that or am I up with him on the ladder? Where, or you stairs? are still on the stairs. He, he just opened the trap door. Flung it in, shut the trap door. I'm going to ask him if the light, if the light caught or not. Look, looked like I was catching. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else at the bottom of the stairs other than the tiny door? There I sure is. Good. What? Uh, a strange pool of murky water. Oh yay! Uh. Give me a perception check. Cool. All the magic straws mm. to breathe underwater, those were all in the shop. So yeah. that 21. Uh, a bubble rises out of the murky water to the top. I'm going to take a few steps back up the stairs. Okay. No, no, no. You, haven't you watched horror movies? You're supposed to lean over the pool of water and look. Uh, you're supposed right. to get naked and then yeah. lean over the pool. <laughs> right, right, right. I missed that part. Because that is clearly a bidet. So you just need to disrobe, lean down in there, not a care in the world. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get out. I'm going to put down the lantern where it's still kind of shining on the like, vicinity of the room. Sure. Place it down and get out my axe. And is there any like, rocks on the ground? Uh, well, it's a rough hewn surface, but there are no loose rocks. There are a few loose pebbles. Yeah, I'll throw a pebble over there. 
throw a pebble in. Yeah, and it, it drops through. A bubble rises and pops. Huh. The ripples move out. All right. Do I, I don't think I have anything on me that I like was carrying other than valuables. It's great. So I'm not. So walk over. And I'll look into the pool. <laughs> and stick my hand and touch the water. I think that is a good idea. The water is very cold, but you feel ripples. Meanwhile, up on the cliff, Felix, people have gotten tired of your crap and they are leaving. They are headed down, including your two associates. <laughs> I'll, I'll thank the everybody shaman, and say shaman abbot the shaman yes and i'll say everybody to the tavern let's have a drink uh, drinks are on me are you guys I'm, I'm not saying that i did not say that <laughs> i think i heard a drinks are on me i know you heard what you <laughs> wanted to hear i did not say that i said let's go i'm pretty sure you're that kind of guy would be so nice to just give everybody a great again. drink after they it, give did it. did they hear that yeah uh, do you want it to be high that they heard it or low that they heard it? <sighs> Ergo, I didn't say it, er so er I don't er give a shit. Well, you know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> stuff happens. Uh, low that they heard that. Let's be consistent here. 15. Uh, they did not hear those words. They heard, let's go to the tavern. Uh -huh. uh, so everybody is filing back. The tail end of the group has already reached Level three. D12 against me, Leaf. Seven. Five. Uh, no smoke yet. Damn it. So, Felix, uh, you're nervously watching uh, the halflings that are passing by you or you're passing by each give you a clasp on the thigh. Good speech. Good speech. It's a good speech. Uh, they sound like they are extras at Braveheart. Uh, Leaf, uh, give me a perception check. Um, 26. You're smelling something on fire above you. And I will tell Copious, do you smell that? Don't fall so for it. Don't fall for that ever. Never I, fall for that. <laughs> pull my finger. <laughs> I am in an enclosed space I with an open smoke. flame above me. I'm not falling for that. I smell smoke. All right. Well, let's hurry down. The wooden stairs, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I'm hurrying down the wooden stairs. That creak loudly with every step that you take. Yep. Creak. But creak. Man Fang has already made it to the bottom. Yep. I'm going to ask, can you be quiet? As you hustle your way down the stairs, you wind your way down. Go ahead and give me a survival check, please. Oh, gosh. You and Leaf. 16. Muted. 22. You both uh, come to the conclusion that Manfang did. You're probably eye level. Well, not you, Copious. You're probably <laughs> eye level with first level or probably just below the surface. As you come to the bottom, you see Manfang's got his hand in this pool of water. I'm going to ask him what he's doing. Uh, does, a, does a 17 hit you, Manfang? Oh, jeez. Uh. Um, I don't think it does, does it? Fine. I thought 18. Uh, I had my it doesn't have a shell. shell. It wouldn't. Uh, you know, we're in a shell, so uh, let, let's go with one of those uh, murder hobo dice that uh, Leaf has a lot of. <laughs> Not that good. Uh, Manfang, you are grabbed by something firm and take four hit points of crush damage on Wait. your fingers. Ah, oop. Okay, I'm going to yank him out of there because it hurts. Rock lobster. And then back up away from it. A say, giant yeah, clam is attached to Man Fang. Everybody roll initiative. 
So what? Do I just smack it on the ground now? Get it off. Turn. Eighteen. Muted. Yeah, I'm unmuted. No, you're you're unmuted. Eighteen. Twenty-two. All right, I got to roll. Clam, Seven. you said. Oh, sorry, six. Wow. Uh, copious. Uh, he yowls in pain, lifts his hand out of the water, and he has a rather basketball-sized creature latched onto his hand. What would you like to do? Um, besides look at it and go, this is like an Abbott and Costello routine about to happen. <laughs> I'm going to, I summoned my sword, so I'm going to go ahead and attack it with the sword. I, ooh, that's where my, I'm going to tell, gonna tell you better Manfred, hope he doesn't Manfred, miss. Manfred, stand still. Say, say, put your, put get, your hand down. And get stand away. Down. Stay away. I can deal with this myself. I, I'm not going to start smacking it all. Cannot the possibly go wrong. I'm going to, I'm not letting him touch my hand. Or the, my basketball hand. Copious, uh, you're going to have to roll at disadvantage if he's not going to help. Uh, if he's I'm, swinging it around, I'll, I guess I'll have to. I told him to hold it still. I'm going to stay the hell out of the way. Uh, you know what, Man Fang? That first roll was really good. The second one, that eh, <laughs> <no>, was 22. <laughs> that was my disadvantage was 22. Uh, yeah, you hit it. I rolled a 15 and a 16. How much damage do you do on the muscle? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, I rolled full damage, 11 points. Almost got it. Uh, Leaf, a major crack has been dealt into this clam uh, attached to Manfang, who continues to whirl around, although copious, uh, much like uh, Hank Aaron, rest in peace, timed his blow correctly and connected. Uh, what would you like to do as smoke starts to billow down the tunnel that you are in? I'm going to yell at Manfang and say, smash that thing on the rocks and let's get the hell out of here. All right. That's what I was planning on doing. I will yell back and then except, slam it on the ground. Except you got a six and I got a 15. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Shut. Four more damage. I hate Not through your fingers. fingers. Now, uh, smash it with a d20 roll, but one, two, or three, you're punching the floor yourself. So what do I got to roll? Not a one, two, or three on a d20. Straight up d20, right? Mm -hmm. 14. You uh, give it a sideways uh, smash, and it shatters. Everybody there hears tink, tink. Aren't muscles the one with pearls in them, or is that clams? Clams have pearls. Well, don't don't they like eat muscles though? What? This was this was a clam. It's a clam. Look, see if see if it's got a muscle a pearl in it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was doing. Okay. Investigation checks. I'll take the high one, assuming it's high enough. That is a thirty twenty. You found it. Yeah. It, it is misshapen. It's not a perfect pearl. Uh, it's got kind of a <laughs> blue sheen to it, but it's probably worth 100 gold pieces. Uh, clearly, go. this was a farm of some kind. Hmm. Hmm. So for the pain, at least you got something out of it. Yeah. Uh, smoke is now filling this uh, stairwell. As Manfang has already found, uh, there's a halfling-sized doorway straight ahead and a tunnel lying beyond. Let's Could go. I at least like attempt to fit, or is there just no way I can get inside of that door? Oh yeah, you got you, you have to it. hunch over. Is that that's right. the only way out, right? So that is the yeah, only way out. Because yeah, you set fire right. to the rest. Hey, now here, here, let's open the door and see where it's going. Let's set fire to the stairs as we go through. I'm not throwing my lamp. You can get another one. I'm just saying. We knock yourself out. Let's open the door. Open the door. Set fire to him. Uh, Leaf, you will recognize this as a similar tunnel that you have been in before, although you have not been here. It goes about 20, 30 feet, offshoots to the left, kind of where level one would be. And that would be down Cont towards the docks then? Well, no, the docks would be on your right. On the right. Okay. Yeah, because you are on the far end. All right. So uh, the left would be 
maybe a tunnel into another building. Uh, and the tunnel continues. Felix, uh, your two friends have brought a familiar face to you. It is Georgina the Witch, the apothecary. Uh, and they point out that you would like another dose of the wondrous <laughs> elixir. However, Georgina points out that her stockpile is low. And sadly, it's going to be a little expensive. Wait, did they yell it in public, though? Did they yell it out, like, kind of loudly in public? Well, there's a whole crew behind them. So. Oh, Ugh. they do it. Well, how expensive are we talking? How much money Virginia? do you have? <laughs> They're probably all in on this scam. Uh, I've got about 30 gold pieces. Oh, that's almost enough. If you can find about 20 more gold pieces. Oh, 50? What? It's I only have two left in stock. Two left? How much for both of them? 100. You can't wheel and deal with me a little? Maybe cut me a break? Maybe 80 gold pieces? I'm buying all your stock. I mean, this is, you don't have to find another buyer. I'm willing to take bark, or, yeah, bulk discounts here. Uh, D12 against me. Come on, D12. A one? Damn it! Uh, she'll go as low as 90. <laughs> it's worth it! <laughs> uh, totally worth it. All right, all right, fine. Let me just pat around in my pockets here. And a bell around. rings, and the halflings start to scream. There is a fire! And you see smoke billowing from the pawn shop. <sighs> I mean, fire. <laughs> wow. Yes, uh, you don't I even will... need to roll a performance for that one. <laughs> I do? No. Oh, good. No, uh, it was yeah, that I, bad. <laughs> I assume Georgina does not have it on her, and now the fire is going to distract her. I will tell her that I will meet her down there after the fire is out and to get my product. But Fair I will enough. buy it for 90. Fair enough. Uh, the crowd pushes their way past you, runs all the way down to the dock, and forms a bucket brigade uh, and starts pouring ocean water onto the fire. You can tell that Spatz is just horrible mood. Horrible. Uh, because all of his hard earnings are going up in smoke. Uh, he jumps into the bucket line and he starts to help. Uh, what do you want to do, Felix? You going to uh, help? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not going to help. I, what I need to do is figure out how much money was in this pouch that I was able to snag from the tributes. But I'm not going to look just yet because there's still too many people around. A nat 20 and a 16, so 36. Well, that'll offset the price of some of that uh, stuff that the herbal medicine. You're, you're going to need enough money to pay for services rendered. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I've got plenty. <laughs> I've got plenty of coin. When is the next time I'm going to be back in? And you're going to want to be able to rent a boat because we're going to leave your ass here. Mm -hmm. That might be just fine with me. And this is where Felix met his demise. <laughs> this is the Amazonian homeland. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, down in the tunnels, you have an offshoot going to the left, or you can continue forward. Uh, give me an insight check, uh, man fang only. Oh, Ooh, what's my insight? Probably not good. Let's check insight. No, it's plus four. That's great. Um, 22. You smell familiar vittles. You think to the left is that tavern you and Copius hit. Okay, I'm going to say, I think we're near the tavern. That's it. Oh, okay, why does he think that? Uh, it smells the same. Which, well, there's two options here, Man Fang. Uh, are you suggesting one tunnel or the other smells more like that or less like that? More. Can you tell us which one? That one. 
The off left. route. Yeah, the, oh. the main tunnel, you presume, is probably going to run down most, to the docks. Most of, most of parallel to the docks. So I want to, uh, I want to f- uh, follow it a little further on before we go out. But I would the the goal right now for me is to find an exit point that would be what Copius would think would be unobtrusive that he could sneak out uh, and possibly get right down to the docks if necessary without being seen. Sure. Uh, you go about another fifty feet and you notice wood, old wood framing timbers, uh, holding up an angled piece of stone insight everybody or you three rather Ken that's 24 16 stairs maybe the stairwell for more support you think maybe possibly Uh, and the tunnel continues You go another 20 feet, another offshoot to the left, uh, or continue straight ahead. Uh, These offshoots, are they doored or just the tunnel branches? Tunnel branches, and then it will curve one way or the other. So I'll I'll duck in. I'll tell them, I said, just stay at the the tunnel (coughs) branch here for one second. I'll duck in for like 10 feet or so and see if I notice anything 20 feet and then come back. We should uh, up. We'll cover more ground. This one, yeah, yeah that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, stone stairs, one section, one section, door at the top. It's like a cellar. I'll go back and tell Leaf and Manfang what I discovered there. So, and, and well, what do you want to do? You want to go up into one of these places, or you want to keep checking the tunnels? The farther we get away from that. From a pawn shop, the better off we're going to be because that's probably a mess right now. So keep in in mind, if this were the stairs, you are halfway across town. Yeah, what's interesting is all of these side branches seem to lead back towards another building. Like the entire Mm -hmm. town is connected to this subterranean. I kind of think it is. So I, I vote we run the length of it even further and see where it Dumps All out. right. Uh, another 20 feet. There's another branch. Manfang, give me an insight check. It is a 20. Dirty. Uh, the first place that you went was Anchors Away, where you made the smell. This one you believe might be the Blue Oyster or Anchors Away. You aren't really sure because now you're starting to lose track of where you're at. But remember, there were three taverns on the first floor or first level. Hmm. Okay. But it definitely smells like a tavern. All right. I'm going to say, I think we're close to a tavern, one of the three taverns. Uh, is it possible uh, with the walls or something to scratch a, a marking on the wall? Oh, Where easily. Is- now, the walls to the right are somewhat damp. Uh, you surmise that's the water. Yeah. I wanted the other, the uh, opposite wall <clears throat> on the inside of the town. And just make a marking, and I'm going to point it out to Leaf and Manfang. So this, okay. if we think this, we think this is one of those taverns. We know to look for this marking. You go another thirty feet, another landing, or well, another tunnel. Tunnel. Uh, Copious will keep taking point, and he'll try to move stealthily into it just in case there's something waiting and or coming down it. But twenty, thirty feet. See what this one has a rusted iron gate blocking your egress beyond are a lot of casks. Huh. Uh, the gate, is it locked? It is locked. I'm going to try to pick that lock. Sure. 23. Uh, it, it's a pretty rusted lock, but you do manage to hear the familiar click. Uh, I'm going to try to open it quite as quietly. (laughs) (laughs) And and every so often I'll pause and go, and then do it again. And then Copious is going to go inside. Uh, It's a row of casks, small casks, ale Mm -hmm. casks. Uh, It looks like you're in the cellar of a tavern. 
Uh, he's going to go up to one, and if it's they're tapped, he's just going to start tasting them. They are not tapped. He doesn't are, care. He's going to tap one himself if he has to. I was going to say there is a tap available. Uh, he's going to tap one and see what he finds. Constitution roll. Four. He hates it. It is vinegar. <laughs> oh, this is God, it's stupid halflings. All I right. think that you might be in Long John Silver's. This might be the vinegar tap. <laughs> he's actually wondering. I, I wonder if this is flammable. This is so bad. That is not. So uh, yeah, he's going to try to pull that sucker out and go to another one. Sure. Uh, it, it continues to leak out. Yeah, uh, he doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> It should be poured out. It's so god-awful. You also find wooden stairs in the L shape uh, leading up to a stout-looking door. Okay, good to know. Um, he's going to turn the, the keg he has. He's going to try to turn it uh, so that you know it's like not quite obvious when you walk down. He's going to tap another one, and he rolled, and this time he rolled nine. He's still like... He's, it's it's no it's no bitters brand, but it's but horse God. piss. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna pull that one out and let pour it out. This is awful. Try try one more. One, roll <laughs> a one. This is the worst. This is the foulest tasting stuff he has ever discovered. These people have no palate. Why am I even bothering coming to this town? <laughs> he's literally spitting it out as he tries it. He he is so incensed by the taste of this crap. He's trying to decide if he can set fire to the cellar. You, you got to hurry because I am dying to tell you what this place is. What do you want to do? He's going to try one last time. Dude, that's probably the mortuary. You're probably testing bombing fluid or something. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Okay, your taste buds are dead already. So. Dead. Okay, yeah, that was fine. <laughs> He's doing an Elliot Ness on this place. Sure, you start smashing. It's going to be stuff. the sperm bank. Uh, as you look around, oh, uh, give me an investigation check. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. 14. You're just smashing barrels left and right. And as you look up, the rafters are a little bit lower. And there's like stuff, like fabric stuff. Oh, it's urine. Not quite. Uh, it's this is the tanners. <laughs> <laughs> they have, that's why they have the small casks. This is tanning fluid to go ahead and deal with hides. Oh, this is awful. Well, I wasn't too far off. No wonder these halflings don't know what good beer tastes like if they're drinking this crap. Tokus is totally nonplussed by the whole affair. He still thinks they're drinking it. Uh, Leaf and Mad Fang. He, he, he's stage whisper. Copious. Copious. What the hell are you doing? All right. He's going to stop what he's doing and start marching back out. He's taking the tap with him, though, so he can burn it. Fair enough. Uh, you're a jerk. <laughs> uh, Felix, uh, everybody is doing their best. Uh, let's see how they do. A uh, one. Uh, that place is going up like a bonfire. <laughs> we uh, need a couple red vests to leave as planted evidence. Why Why didn't we think of grabbing some of those? It burned up anyway, so who, you know what the hell? Oh, I think in, the in the tunnels. tunnels. Yeah. In the tunnels. Oh, that would have been good. Yeah, that would have no. been a great idea. Yeah. Then, <laughs> uh, Felix, uh, you were on level two the apothecary, as well as the cartographer are nearby. Uh, you don't know if they're there because you know Georgina is in the um, bucket brigade. You don't know if the cartographer is there. Uh, yeah, now I'm suddenly realizing we didn't decide where we were going to meet up afterwards, so I guess Go I'm going to... I don't know where. I'm going back to ship. <laughs> yeah, I well, we still need to get our maps from the cartographer, so I think that uh, I'm going to go wait for the cartographer to open up. We got our maps, didn't we? Uh, he wants to uh, photocopy his uh, image. I know what he wants. Oh, uh, by the way, a little side note. Out in the bay, Robert has rolled up his dungarees and he's dipping his half-orc feet 
watching the smoke. I'm proud. Oh yeah. I'm proud. Yeah. He yeah. may have to go touch himself later. <laughs> <laughs> he is Ew, very happy. Gross. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Gross. Man Stop. Frank, we're gonna have to leave you to tell your dad that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna so, all right. If Felix, Georgina's in busy in the bucket brigade, she me thinks that that means the apothecary with those two more herbal supplements is still is unguarded. That would be a fair assessment. I wonder if she left the window open. Maybe I'm going to go head down there and go give it a look. See, sure, everybody is busy on that side. Yep, perfect distraction. Oh, yeah. Place on fire. Yeah, uh, I'll head down to the apothecary and. As you pass by the cartographer, D12 against me. Three. Three. One more time. Six. Seven. The apothecary is not present either. He is in the bucket brigade. As you reach Georgina's apothecary, uh, D12 against me. Let's see if there's a window open. <laughs> there's about to be if there isn't. Eleven. Two. Uh, Two. No, there is not. Well, and again, keep in mind the cave fa or the level face is here, and then the building sits like this. So there's a narrow alleyway here, uh, and then the main track. So just like um, copious and leaf, you could go around back to see if there's anything there. Well, before I break the window, yeah, let's go around back and see if there's anything. There least. is trellises with a variety of plants uh d12 against me for a door or a window 11 one nothing back there but trellises uh small herbs uh little window boxes but no window uh this is her grow operation do i recognize the plants at all as those plants that i am looking for medicine check or would you like to have Man Fang roll it? No, <laughs> good for you. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, you, the scent is quite potent, and you think there are four plants in a window box that maybe it's the main ingredient. Hmm. I don't think that's going to help me at all, but it can't hurt me. I'm going to take my knife off. Or out and take just a couple of uh, shoots. Maybe I'll try to grow some while we're at sea. Sure. Great idea. Very gently you know, put them in my pocket. Probably not toxic at all. Uh, you do that, but uh, there is no <laughs> spot. Uh, let's uh, D12 against me on the side. Let's see if there's a side window. Uh, Eight. Four. What's with these damn D12 dice? Uh, no, it looks like the only way in is through the front door. The well, smoke is billowing greatly. Sounds like be a I'm total gonna, loss. I'm going to go right to the front door and uh, try to pick the lock first. Sure. What do you not want, need for that? Uh, performance. Or, yeah, sleight of hand. Oh, yeah. I had 17 before bonuses. Uh, sure. With sleight of hand, it's going to go 26. Tis a simple lock. Almost That's like these people don't know what crime is. Yeah. All right. She's stealing uh, from each other. So, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Now that I'm inside, I'm going to look around for what I think is a bag similar to the bag she gave me earlier that I'm contained all that stuff. <laughs> uh, it's dark in here because there's no windows. Mm hmm. <laughs> Do you? You're a human, so you don't have dark vision. I can't see anything, but I remember you're, where you're we were. Over. I remember where we were when she pulled it out. So I'm going to go over to that area of the shop and just kind of rummage around a little bit. Sure, yeah. investigation. <laughs> oh shit! Got your flint tinder and light something on fire. Oh, I'm going to have to nine. Uh, you you find a small burlap sack similar in size to what you had purchased before. Uh, they seem to smell similar to the cloves that you have taken. Stick it right on in. Uh, I'll give you uh, 
four small bags. Okay, well, I believe this is what I had from earlier, so I think I've got what I need, and I'm going to get the hell out of here before I, somebody sees me. You get out. Uh, the people are backing away from the fire scene. They have doused the building next to the pawn shop as best they could. They have given up. Uh, poor Spats is crying on the stairs. My, my livelihood, my livelihood. Uh, as people come by to, you know, uh, try and assuage his grief, uh, give me a perception check. 11? Uh, he, he's picking their pockets as they're trying to assuage his grief. <laughs> Oh. D12 against me. Ooh, damn it. I know this is not going to go well for me. 12, it's not. Nine. Uh, as you shake your head at clearly the criminal element has not been pounded out of him, you look over to your right and you see a female in a red vest <laughs> make eye contact and go around the corner. She is on the stairs. Get her. I think I'm going to follow her. She is running up the stairs to the third level. Well, so for me, being a six foot tall human, it's a nice, small, leisurely walk. But there are a lot of people on the stairs as they've decided, screw it. We're down. We aren't going to yep. save it. It's over. Uh, so, yep, oh, I'm going to chase good after Good speech. Her. Good speech today, my friend. Good speech. Ah, thank you. Thank I really you. like the song. That's a that's a great song. Yes, it's a very catchy a wonderful song. song. Yes, here it comes is. the king. Here comes the king. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, the wording though, it, uh, it did not it did not jive. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, you look up, and the girl is running into your favorite establishment. Uh, I have to go after her. I guess I'll have to go after. I know, yes. <laughs> you go in and you see Copius's friend, the buxom madam. Uh, she is decked out. Uh, you don't know how much she gave, but she's got a lot of jewelry on her, including a necklace that looks kind of familiar. I will point out that necklace to her and ask her about it. Oh, this old thing? Uh, it was my mother's. Interesting. It is a golden clam. Yes. Okay. You know, I, 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 I'm doing this. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I'm just tossing it in there. Little, little softball for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a very fine necklace you have there. Oh, well, How did your you. mother come by that necklace? I wouldn't have any idea. Rest in peace, Mama. Uh, yeah, I have just a small idea. Uh, are you here for the girls? They are not here yet. They told no, me that I'm here you, because uh, I believe that I saw somebody run in here and I wanted to have a word with that individual. I believe you're mistaken. I've been sitting here the whole time. Hmm. Well, I it, guess insight I'm... check. Two. I guess I was mistaken. Yeah. Clearly. You were wrong. I clearly I was wrong. deceive you like that. What yeah, time of day is it here? Uh, well, it was noon when you threw all, all the shit into the water. So, so it, like... it's about one. Okay. Yeah, it's too early for me to pee. What time will the girls be uh, returning? Well, they said they were going to meet you down at the apothecary. Apparently, you needed to wait for Georgina to fix your uh, <coughs> problem. Yes, issue. yes, yes. <laughs> your enhancements. Putting out the fire. So uh, she looked like she's going to be a minute. So I guess I'll come back and join the ladies later. I will let them know. Please do, yes. It's time for me to leave. <laughs> I'm going to leave. Okay. Are you going back down to the first layer? or I I don't know or, where or, or everyone else is. So you have I no idea where they're at. 
Yeah, I guess I'm going to go back towards the docks. Sure. So you're going down the stairs. Uh, the smoke is starting to lessen. The burnt shell of the building indicates a total loss. Uh, people have figured out that he's ripping them off, so they're trying to steer clear of him. Apologies. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, give me a perception check. Nine. Uh, you see the cartographer headed back to their shop. Well, I guess I'll head back to their cartography shop. Perception check again. Eleven. I've been robbed! Comes down that level by Georgina's shop. Okay, turn it around, back to the docks. <laughs> down in the down in the tunnels, Copius has uh, Elliot Nest this place, comes back out, you go another 40 feet, and it comes to a dead end. No, no tunnels leading off the dead end. None whatsoever. All right. So uh, search and see if there's any uh, trap doors or any secret. Investigation. <clears throat> um 17, 19. Uh, no, it's okay. pretty solid here. There's nothing here, guys. We need to make a decision and head back. Head back, and let's take a, not not that uh, foul. The foul. We need to head toward the docks. I think. Well, we we need the to docks will be on your left side now. Yeah, on our left as we're going back. Uh, copious D12 against me. That doesn't go well. Five, eight. Uh, as you guys are walking past the. Uh, turbulent liquor uh you hear uh, 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 as a wooden door squeaks open farther ahead of us i assume right uh inside that opening you think it's on the l <laughs> okay all right uh what in tarnation oh wait i went old west hey what's this mess why is my stuff gone so i'm gonna look at the guys and go we may want to hurry. Uh, Manfang, why don't you run back the way we came and go go around the first corner? You come. Yeah, I'll run. So you got your still got your lantern. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. It's starting to burn out because it's been an hour. Uh, the next one now to the right uh, was one of the taverns. All right, let's go up the tavern. Is this the one I put the marking on then? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Do you want to go in there, or do you want to go into the first one that was a tavern? This is a blue oyster. This would be the blue oyster. Yeah, let's just head up the blue oyster and get out right. of it. It's time da -da -da, da -da -da. Uh, you All head right. up. Uh, as you get to the top, there is a wooden door with a little hidey hole there so that you can look out. All right, we'll look We'll look out and see if I D see anyone through the door. D12 against me. Oh, wait. 12. 11. Two, two waitresses are standing right next to the door talking about the strangers. Well, I'm going to try to eavesdrop first. And I'm uh, going to push the, the two of them down the way. The first one's opinion of you. Ugh. <laughs> the second one has a very high opinion of you. So they are arguing <laughs> about the potential suitor issue. Uh of your capacity, I suppose. The one is clearly not interested. Uh, the other one is an 18 and clearly is. So while they weigh your pluses and minuses, uh, you hear noises out in the tunnel. Uh, so D12, D12 against me. I'm gonna ignore the gutter snipe. <clears throat> one. Three. Uh, there is now a third person here. It is the tavern owner, and he's bitching at the ladies that they need to get their asses in gear and start feeding people who are coming in for the late lunch crowd. Uh, it appears as though they will be walking away momentarily, giving you that slight window of getting in, or you can make a run for the next tavern. Uh, but did, So the noise I heard, was that the tavern owner or is that down in the tunnel? Down in the tunnel, probably the leather worker. All right, I'm going to uh, uh, try to usher Manfang and Leaf up to the door and say, "We have here in a minute." And then we're through. 
All right. Turn the it's light on. Why drop this? <laughs> Turn, blow the lamp, lantern out, man. Thing. Okay. Uh, the ladies get their asses in gear, move off, and there is at this time nobody in this little alcove. All right. I'm going to try to push the door open or open the door, depending on which way it swings. Comes at you. Okay. I'm going to ease it open slowly. See if the hinges make noise and then try to duck through. No, it's it's pretty well oiled. Uh, you duck in and you are in some cubby hole. You have not been in this place, I think. I think it was just Manfang. Uh, and it is a tavern. Uh, scent of smoke, uh, scent of herbs, stuff like that. Uh, all assails your nostrils. Uh, and all three of you make it inside. Uh, just across the way is uh, the main room where everybody is gathering for a late lunch. So I'm, I'm going to try to sneak out and I'm going to suggest Manfang wait a few seconds before you walk through and then you you come out so that we don't all just like appear at once. And uh, blend in, Manfang. Blend in. Blend straight in. Up, straight right. up D20s, starting with copious. I'm going to try and walk really crouched down so I blend in. You can do nine. it, man, Fang. Nine? Yeah, nine. Uh, you make it out. You almost bump into one of the waitresses. Odd, it's the one that likes you, even it's the one that doesn't. Nine! Oh, hello. Uh, Copious will try to be a charming self if he recognizes she's the one that had the highest. Charming? <laughs> sure. Always oh, charming. Persuade. Yeah. Or, you know what? Just a charisma check. Let's see how you do. You sure you want to roll that for you? 21. Oh, yeah. She is quite smitten with you. Uh, Manfang, you are up next. Straight up, D20. Come on, Manfang. You can do her. 13. What, do I, what else do I have to add to it? What is it? Nothing. 13? Yeah, I got a 13. What else do I have to add to it? Nothing. You step out. Uh, you see Copious making time with the... What's her charisma? Yeah, she's okay. 13. Uh, he's making time with this waitress. Uh, Leaf, you're the last one. Straight up to 20. Nine. Nobody knocks dishes out of a waiter's hand. All three of you are out into the common room except for Copious, who is in the little hallway of the Applebee's, uh, making time with the waitress. Doing the Get around me, move. Uh, Man, Fang, and Leaf. Do you guys want to just grab a table and try and blend in, or do you want to head we on? Should go ahead. What do you think? Get a table. We'll get a table. You guys get a table. Uh, Felix, you are now on level one. I. I. I feel like it's too convenient for me to be like, hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Might as well grab a bite while I'm down here. You will be hungry. Well, let's go into the first tavern I see. D6. Oh, boy. Murder Hobo Inc. Three. Three is the blue oyster. <laughs> da 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 da. Uh, give me a perception check. Leaf, give me a perception check. Uh, 25. 13. Uh, Felix, you do not see anybody here because you're all kind of hunched over. Leaf, you got Felix. He's in the door looking lost. I'm going to stand up and wave at Felix, try to get his attention. You mean stand up? Leaf bangs his head into the hewn timbers of the short tavern, uh, yells, ouch, and you spot him. There is an opening at the table because the table seats eight halflings or four normal size people. Perfect. So Leaf and Felix can have a butt cheek uh, as well as uh, Manfang can have a seat for each butt cheek. Copious. That sounds perfect. Or even the waitress who is not impressed with you comes over. <sighs> what may I get for you? The other waitress. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That, that was, was a good one. Persuade me with advantage. She throws a drink in your face. Uh, possibly. Uh, 
14, natural 14. <sighs> if you hurt her, I will hurt you. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> Cigar, can you wait on this table for me? Wait, wait, what? Cigar? Wait, wait. <laughs> Cigar or cigar? Cigar. Cigar. She's one of the ones that stole her shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Full> circle. <laughs> All right. At Applebee's, you can't wear the red vest. Uh, well, Cigar God. comes over. What may I get for you? Ew. Oh. I All right. Copious has to go see if he can hold it in. <laughs> okay. We're going to order ready or? We're ordering. We're ordering. Uh, Felix doesn't know anything. Nope. Right? Just walked in. Not, uh, not that's why I was asking. Have you guys ordered? Uh, we're, we're just going to order. I'll take the special to the whatever the lunch special is. <laughs> Everything's normal, I assume. Pick yep. your freaking pocket. That's a special. It'll be perch today. Perch on what? Perch on toast. Yep. The, uh, the cook, Melba, uh, has a special toast that she makes. Melba toast. <laughs> Almost perch toast. Yeah. yeah, Copious will try to still lay on the charm through gritted teeth. Easily done. She is quite smitten with you. Freaking cigar. I'll have the special too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask uh, if I can coyly try to ask. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And and please thank your friend. What was her name for allowing you to cover our table? Petta. Uh, she doesn't much care for you, my friend. Petra. Petta. P Petta. Okay. You're welcome. Boom! Full circle, baby. <laughs> okay. I was setting you up the whole time. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> he did you good. He did. Oh, she likes me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> of course she likes you. She stole from you. She does not know she stole from you, though. All right. Well, we'll get lunch. And I'm going to uh, tip well, because I'm going to take it all back. Okay. Uh, Manfang, you doing the special too? There's mutton. I'll have mutton. Are you vegan? Uh, getting the mutton. If you had the special uh, con check at advantage, mutton con check normal. Because that Melba toast, that is good stuff. I had the. Uh, this so mutton is horrible. 17. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. One? <laughs> Welcome to Worm City, population you, baby. You're going to get trichinosis. <laughs> I'm, gonna sp I'm not spitting it out. No, that's a bad idea. Um, I'm going to politely vomit on back. You got the oh. only piece of the sheep they had left. It's part of the <laughs> O in it. Uh -huh. It's the thing that the raccoon can fit in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Copious, uh, Sigor comes back. How was it? Oh, it was wonderful. It was some of the best uh, Melba perch toast I've ever had. Well, I told Melba, our cook, to make it especially nice for the sweetest person I know. Oh, aren't you just darling? Copious oh, still going to lay it on. I'm just me. <laughs> uh, Peta comes up, taps her on the shoulder. Uh, your other customers need you and gives you the uh, ugly girlfriend side eye glance. Copious is just going to give her a big old smile. Well done. That will set her off. <laughs> she fumes and walks away. And I'm going to look at Copious and say, you know, I, I think you're hitting on her girlfriend, man. I'm going to lean over to Leaf and say, they're the two people that stole our stuff. Those two? They're the ones who sold it to the... Uh, I'm going to lean over and go, what are you guys talking about? I'm going to tell you, we're going to tell you we're talking about the perch on toast is what we're going to tell man thing we're talking about. Yep. Ah, okay. Also, this is more uh, than I have some of your toast. Felix, I'm going to pass that word on nice. to Felix. <laughs> Felix? Copia yeah. said these are the two that stole all our stuff. What? 
the two that the sold our stolen so, stuff to the pawn broker whispered. Their names were in the book when we were, when we were at the pawn broker. It wasn't Madison and. No, it was Peta and Sigor. Oh, no, by chance, was it? Nope. Oh, those were the girls from the pink house. Felix doesn't oh. care anymore. No, <laughs> <it doesn't. laughs> no. uh, yeah, well, let's. Hey, what do you want to do? I hey, Felix, did you get it? Did you get a good idea where uh, the tribute is dumped in the? Oh yeah, I know exactly where the tribute so is dumped. If, if, if the meal's over. The first business is still to get back to the cartographer. We have the maps now because Kopi says the map, the scroll case. Mm -hmm. so we have our maps. We go yep. back to the cartographer, get the new maps of this area, um, let him copy our current maps, mm -hmm. head back to the ship. I assume Felix is going to spend the night in the pink house. I need to go back to the apothecary and go get my stuff. Okay, we'll head by the apothecary at the same time. Feel like, you know, Kopi said no. We'll hit that cartographer, apothecary, ship. Does that sound like a plan, Manfang? Is there anything you need? Man um, no. When, when Felix was coming down in the streets, did he hear murmurings or anything about, we need to get the people that did this, where are those outsiders, or anything like that, or did everything seem business as usual? Business as usual. Good. Yeah, perfect. Then there's Felix, no need to run. Felix, take Manfang with you to the pink house. I think Felix will. And well, with that big gash on his face, he can walk in and say, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> ask, ask for the raccoon room. <laughs> the raccoon room. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, as you guys leave, are all four of you going to the cartographers we better stick together i think yes at this point yes i think we should stick together i'm going to leave a, a nice tip for Sigor. sure and ask her uh you know if, if maybe uh you know hints at maybe he will see her later uh, this evening potentially what time she gets off all that kind of crap she says alleyway midnight on your receipt with a heart <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and in the heart, there's two eyes and a crooked little smile. I just want to do a, a quick check here. This isn't an adolescent, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm going to ask if I'm going to prison. Because uh, I want to make sure that the DM hasn't set this up and gone, oh, by the way, these are like 12-year-olds working in this pub somewhere. So that's... Uh, who, who offended the man fame? You offended yeah. the constable. Uh, no, these uh, these would be of age. Okay, thank you. <laughs> which <laughs> which in halfling lands 12. Yeah, but he's halfling, so it's okay. No. Oh, that's right. Hoggis is a halfling. Kind of okay. Hoggis is the halfling. Okay, uh, so yes, they, they will be considered legal status. Uh, no interpretations under... Halfling law will implicate you in any wrongdoings. As you guys leave the tavern and head towards the stairs, uh, you notice a guard presence on the second story. Clearly, there are some investigations going on at the arson scene, as well as uh, taking a report at Georgina's. There is one constable at Georgina's and several uh, others, several others at uh, the scene of the arson. One of them is wearing a strange hat with two bills and carrying a strange gemstone that makes things bigger. His name is Shorlock. <laughs> Deer stalker hat on. Oh, that one kind of. <laughs> short lock. Short, oh, I, let's go with short lock. I like that better. Short lock home. You know, I'm an idea Sam. Uh, so uh, the cartographer is over to the right. Yep. Right before you get to Georgina's, all four of you make it into the cartographer's. Okay. Uh, Felix is not spotted or otherwise implicated at this point in time. You go in uh, and uh, deal with the cartographer. He asks if you were able to go ahead and obtain your items. Yep. Yep. And and we're leaving our naval map for the as part of the the process. Correct. Yes. So he's copying ours. Uh, no. 
I've already, uh, I've, uh, yes, I've already made a copy of this map. Uh, really? Um, where did when you? When we were here yesterday, you said you hadn't. Uh, according to my notes, oh, there it is. Uh, according to my notes, uh, it was a rush job last night by a, uh, by uh, Oh, my handwriting's horrible. Uh, Sigour brought this. Oh, up. that one coming. Yeah. Felix is oh, yes, this is copious. And oh, his girlfriend there, copious. This people. This, this whole town is cricket. Yep, we need to get out of here. Uh, I think so, yeah, Robert I, I, should pay this guy a visit, too. I, uh, I can have it done for you in the morning. All right, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. have what done? Man. Hold it. Have what, what done in the morning? Well, he, he needs to make another wanted. copy. We're having maps made. We, he has maps of the entire sea area on the coastline. Which he should have already had ready for us. Oh, yeah, he should have. Yeah, uh, but he was not going to give it to you until he uh, confirmed the validity of your maps. But he's already made copies of our maps. He's made copies of one of the maps, that is true. Uh, yeah. He can go ahead and part with the maps as agreed upon. Okay. Right. Thank you. Was there anything else you needed copied? Um, just out of curiosity, yeah. I'm going to. Felix wants to examine the map and ask him are there any. I forget exactly where the maps we were looking for are. Does he have a map of the coastline here, right around Ray Glaring? Like specifically where uh right right here on the wall. Perfect. I'm just gonna take a quick gander at that if you don't mind. By all means. Takes off careful of the frame. It's pearl. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna look very intently at this map and look for that big blue, the dark blue eye, and see if I can locate where about those tributes were dropped in there. Without what you looking saying, for? Are you looking for the eye of Lar? It's right there, boy. Where exactly? Point to it for me. Right there, the eye of Lar. I loved your speech, your song, not so much. Ah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, your song was a Your song was a piece of shit, but uh, it was a good speech. So yeah, but yeah, that's where you are. are you you aren't thinking of stealing it, are you? Because that? that would no, no, no the treasure. No, oh, of course not. Your ass. <laughs> no, I was curious about the blue and what made it so deep and dark right there specifically. Yeah, it's probably the cave, or it's probably the uh, gateway to the underworld. Interesting. You know, Interesting. them deities, they come and they go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did we happen to get a copy of this map or not? You did not ask for it, uh, but hang on. Hang on a second. Uh, hang on. Uh, ah. yeah. Okay. This other map of the coastline. Uh, let me show you a cartographer trick. Gets some kind of black something, uh, puts it in a mortar and pestle, grinds it up. Here is your map. On the back, there is the indentation of that map because when he copied that map this was the page underneath it you got that hey, give that one to you for uh 10 gold mm. i think we already own the map he just did that on correct yeah i think so uh, yeah but i put in the gold I, I put it I'll, yeah. I'll take that thank you for your effort <laughs> Uh, I try. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't uh, going to pull that fast one on me either. 
I thought I thought maybe I had a shot. At it. No, no, you you thought <laughs> you almost did. But anyone else feel like all that hard earned gold we got in Tortal Land is been suctioned out of us at every step in this halfling village? Out of some I don't of think us. it was the gold that got suctioned out of me. Oh, 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 oh. hey, there's no IRS here, so you know I have to do what I can. I can't have you guys being rich. Did you pay tribute to Lear? If not, let me see what you can throw in this hole. That's what they're going to say to Felix That's when they right, get him up to Pink House. Hey, guys, oh. what? let's see what else will fit in this hole. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bring that raccoon in here. Do we still have that raccoon? Where's Rocky? Get Rocky in here. You want to touch this? Hey, you guys want to go touch this? Pull the rabbit out of my... <laughs> Need a new hat. Uh, I think that is an excellent place to stop for the day. Uh, yeah, out of there. Young Frank, what'd you think? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, you, you <laughs> didn't thought. fall at all. No, <laughs> you, you had good rolls. Good rolls. I know my yeah. moon was successful. That's what yeah. I thought about. AJ, what'd you think? Uh, it was good. Good. Yeah, I'm glad the guys were able to set things on fire. <laughs> Felix was really nervous up there. Well, I'm sure you'll feel a burning later. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Jason, what'd you think? Uh, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> Life is a circle, boys and girls. Uh, Frank Sr., what'd you think? I loved it. There you go. A lot of folks. fun. We finally got to burn something down in this place. I think we ought to set fire to the rest of it before we go. <laughs> Not the pink house. I don't know why. Said, That's I keep, the first one we're going to burn. I need to put you guys in wilderness adventures from here on. I just keep burning my shit now. <laughs> uh, folks, this has been Burger Hobo Inc., uh, the Margu campaign, tri generational campaign. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, uh, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. We got a shop. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for good dice rolls again and uh, Adventure Sense, uh, making my game smell a whole lot better. Uh, don't forget, if you want to be on a one shot or on the Tuesday talk show, M. Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Have a great rest of the weekend and uh, go Bills. There, I said it. Uh, bye, everybody. <laughs>